good to see. But uh, he's been he's teasing the audience by not playing it. Do you think Iggy was disappointed when he noticed that there were no PlayStation All Stars available to play in this game? <laughs> uh, no comment. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, Jumpman, a very prominent figure in Marvel versus Capcom uh, th 3, 3, I think it was 3, uh, he used to be the second best player uh, in the region, uh, the Southwest region. But we already have game one starting, it's going to be Mario versus Rosalina, Mario played by by Jumpman and uh, Rosalina played by Iggy. And I know you guys are excited to see this because there has not been an excess of this new princess character, Rosetta and Chico, Rosalina and Luma. There has not been an excess of gameplay videos, so we have not yeah. gotten a lot of opportunity to see her played at a high level. And so that's what we're hoping for right now. Oh, yeah. So uh, one of the premier things that you need you need to always have your luma out if luma ends up getting knocked out you get uh i think it's like 10 seconds or so before you can get the luma out luma ends up doing um every every a attack that uh, rosetta does as well um allowing you to do extremely spaced smashes tilts whatever whatever you'd like and they do some quite ice climber-esque um things you'll notice that if luma is separated from uh, Rosalina, then Luma will be able to fall right off the stage and die. But if they're together, then Luma will, will stick, will yeah. cling to Rosalina. Yeah, it, it, it seems like they wanted to uh, create something similar to Ice Climbers in feel uh, without having Ice Climbers in the game, <laughs> and <laughs> essentially. Of, of course, they failed miserably at getting the feeling right, but they did make a wonderful, fun, gorgeous character that oh, I think yeah. a lot of people are gonna have fun exploring. So we got an edge guard capability here by Rosalina. We'll definitely be taking out that Mario. Um, he probably should down beat there. I don't know if I missed it, but uh, yeah, trying to do that neutral B with Luma, but gets stuffed by Mario. Uh, Jumpman's going to have to do a little bit of work to get this back. He's got a back throw kill move. Um, and oh, back air is not going to seal that stock. He really needs to smash. He's going, oh, just destroys that Luma. And that Luma goes flying. It's dead. It's gone. It's dead, it's Jim. dead Jim. It's dead Jim. <laughs> so uh, we go back to neutral. And uh, Rosalina ends up taking... A, oh, that was up tilt. That was up tilt. Uh, oh, this should be it. This should... Oh, that's not a kill move. Okay, I am wrong. I'm very wrong. Uh, so right there, Jumpman tries to predict the jump uh, off of the platform. Try, or off of the ledge. Tries to do an up smash, but uh, misses. So, oh wow, so this is Iggy uh, playing as Rosalina, trying to find out new strategies on the fly. You see him attempting a dash dance. He's wondering how he can outspace Mario, even though he's in the lead. He's truly worried about getting that, um, the punish from Mario because yeah. he doesn't know what option Mario is going to choose to finish off his stock. Oh, and there it is. Was so that up smash? Yeah, that was up smash. Mario so, up smash at 180 kills, basically instantly, light speed. So we got uh, good spacing here by Jumpman. He wants he wanted to do a down air, um, but misspaced it. Iggy ends up punishing him really well. Uh, those Mario up tilts, uh, by the way, you can't really get out of them. You're going if you end up getting grabbed by Mario. Most characters end up taking two to three up tilts into an up air, and then after that, DI uh, will render that uh, a read option. And um, you can see Iggy favors grabs. He's comfortable grabbing this game, which, uh, as we were talking about earlier, it feels weird. It feels weird using the L of the 3DS to, oh, yeah. to input your grab. That's but why I changed it. I, cha I changed it to Y. I did not want to deal with that. Iggy is definitely doing it well, even though Rosalina's grabs do not look good at all. They look like garbage. <laughs> so an interesting mechanic, you saw it a bit earlier in this game. Uh, whenever there is a spike, uh, in other iterations of Smash, they, uh, the, oh, good read. Uh, good DI. In the, in the other iterations of Smash, whenever you end up getting a spike, it slams you into the ground, and then you have a tech opportunity, and that's it. Uh, in this game, if you fail to tech, you do a ground bounce similar to uh, NBC, 
and uh, allows the opponent to juggle you even further afterwards. So combos that are centered around using uh, meteor smashes on stage are actually viable for the first time, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Uh, so we see an edge guard capability right here. That was an excellent read. <sighs> Pun alert. Uh, that back air was not safe in the slightest. Ends up getting shield grab from it. Uh, Mario in a good position to take this stock. He's he's trying to go for these up smash reads multiple times, but they're missing almost every single time. I think he needs to go for another option. And I've been watching. I noticed Luma has died for the nth the time this match, four, five, six times, and uh, he doesn't care because Luma Luma's respawn timer is so Ooh, short. Jump man, jump man, going deep, ends up getting that stage spike. Uh, Iggy was not prepared for that stage strike in the slightest. In this game, uh, tucking stage strikes are going to be even more important than uh, the other iterations of Smash due to the new iterations, uh, uh, the new um, capabilities of the ledge. Yeah, that is that is correct. Um, the ledge, you know, you can only re-grab. You grab it once. The next time you grab it, no invincibility. Players know that. They're looking to punish it. And uh, moves just feel powerful when you're in that lower corner of the stage, yeah. below the ledge. Anything that hits you is gonna gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, good. That was so. That was that wasn't quite so much a read as it was just uh, reacting. That move, a highly telegraphed Crazy move, words. should not be used very close and probably shouldn't be used against Mario in general. And what move was that? That um... uh, that was that was her side B, I think. And what does she do? She shoots. She just shoots it out. It, it essentially just says Luma, go over there. Oh, that was Luma. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Luma got caped back into Luma Rosalina. got caped right back into oh. Rosalina. Traitorous, traitorous by nature. Mario, Mario ends up convincing Luma, hey, I have a better galaxy. I have a better galaxy. Yep. My Milky Way's better I, than your Milky Way. Bro. I'm not sharing the boys in the yard. Yeah. So we're on to game two. Jumpman taking that from a, a sizable deficit. I was pretty surprised he was able to bring it back. Iggy wants Battlefield. Iggy, Iggy chose Battlefield. Both players staying their characters. Iggy's going to change up just a little bit. He's going to adapt. And we're going to see if Jumpman can change to accommodate for whatever Iggy changes. So one of the things that I think that... Uh uh, Iggy ends up choosing this stage is so that it will end up forcing Jumpman onto a platform because of the uh, large amount of disjointed hitboxes that Rosalina has it increases the chance and use of Luma just by him being on a platform so platforms are going to be highly dangerous for Mario um, he's going to want to stay as grounded as possible and even in that state it's going to be a little bit more difficult yeah, Mario, you know, he does have aerials. We've seen both characters, they have very valid um, aerial game, and I'm not too sure uh, if Iggy's been using the Luma the way we expected Rosalina's to use their Luma, sending them out and then using smash attacks with each of them. Um, we haven't seen as much of it as I would have thought uh, Rosalina's would have focused on that. Well, so uh, I think part of the reason has to do with the fact that Rosalina is a very difficult character in general to really play as and to understand the options that you have at your disposal. It seems like in general he's kind of using Rosalina as just Rosalina or Sopo uh, for like melee players um, and not really using Luma at the, at the best possible options available. Um, but that's just going to come with time. Typically, these characters that require a ton of effort in the beginning end up being very, very good in the end. We saw it with, you know, Fox and Falco in Melee. We saw it with Ice Climbers and Olimar in Brawl. Uh, so I'm sure that we're going to end up seeing probably something very similar with Smash 4. Definitely, definitely. I haven't seen anyone play as Olimar in Smash 4. No, oh, not yeah. a single match. No, yeah. They don't need it. They don't, <laughs> they, they don't want it. Do not need, do not want it. Yeah. So we got a very even game here. Uh, Jumpman holding his own on Iggy's counterpick. Uh, that Luma. That Luma is going to freaking 
super die, there's no way of getting that back. Man, um, I think it looks like Mario keeps trying to approach from the top, and I'm not too sure why, because yeah, Rosalina's up air right. is good. Rosalina's aerials rack up a lot of damage, even if they're not finishers. They yeah. are damaging and they're range, and Mario has little stubby plumber limbs, and he can't outrange uh, yeah. Rosalina, and he's not trying his best to get in like he should. Oh, so so here's here's where I think that Iggy can really shine. He's finally using the neutral B. The lucky charms. Yeah, the lucky charms that, that Rosalina has at her at her options. Oh, and there we oh. had that was that was a great option to choose for for Iggy. And so, and once again, while in hit stun using Luma to punish the move. It's real cool to see. It's so interesting that Luma is completely controllable. Even Rosalina's completely not controllable at any point in time during shield breaks and hit stun and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Luma's just a free bird. Oh, wow. Whoa. That down air does that? All what right. Kind of Whoa. weird. I don't even know what's happening anymore. That was a great back air since Jumpman flying. We have an even game, 0 to 28%. That is not a lead. That can change very, very quickly. Good grab. Ends up converting oh, it into an up air. Into, wow, a back throw and an up air. That was really interesting to watch. I can't. I. How did that grab? That was surprising. Who even knows? They have nine inch nails on finger. Mario is in a really bad spot here. He needs to get down. If he doesn't get down, he's going to keep taking percent. Oh, good back here. And Mario's up. Ooh. Ah. Good job, jump man. Ends Mario up taking that. Yeah, that was. I don't even understand. That was crazy. And that you, was a strong 2-0. Do you think Jumpman has been playing the demo this entire time and he's just been all Mario and loud and proud? Probably. 